What's up, Grinders? I am Hazard, and yes, I'm still here, alive and well. Maybe just a little bit lacking in the motivation department. But anyway, today is Wednesday, a great day to do some exploring, and we are going to talk about Slayer builds. Yes, Slayer class, the one we all love, especially if our other classes are maxed already. Here we have a very end gamer based Slayer build. Uh, we are using Leprechaun to get things going, like most of the times. He starts battles with full mana and has that nature link, gains bonus green mana from green gem matches, which does ultimately help our Marilith, who also has fire link and gains bonus red mana from red gem matches. And uh, we are using Marilith to as our main mana generator. In my case, she destroys 50 gems and gains some attack in case you happen to lose your hero. Uh, if that happens, your Marilith is around maybe 80, 90 total attack. Uh, Zulgot, well, you know this case, he kills an enemy and burst and freeze all remaining enemies and creates those skulls. And this is when the Slayer class comes into play. Uh, you might know this, but I'm going through this quickly anyway. Uh, uh, traits are against one attack when an enemy casts a spell. Okay, that's cool. And Bloodlust it becomes enraged when an enemy does. This is a big thing. And, uh, well, Brutal Strike inflicts bleed on all enemies when an enemy dies. This, well, doesn't do much in this case, maybe in some other builds. But we are not going to talk about those today. Bloodlust, a big deal. Here, let's go and check the talent tree. Uh, ferocity, gain for attack. Yes, please. And in my case, I'm going to use this counter attack that gains two attack when my hero takes damage over using Jill of Death, which does when an enemy dies, freezes another random enemy. I don't think this is very big deal because our Zul is going to freeze uh, most of the enemies anyways. And here we are going to use Up in Flames, burn a random enemy when an ally dies. Well, if... Well, let's say it, it could be useful if, if, say, Leprechaun dies or something like that. We are going to use Firestarter, creates a Firestorm at the start of the battle. This is a big deal and this should be absolutely picked over any of these two. Give the fire all red allies gain one magic. This helps Merit. And uh, in some cases, maybe if you are uh, not that high leveled yet, but wanna try this, maybe this gain three attack when an en enemy dies does more to you than this one single magic stat boost. But I'm picking Gift of Fire anyway. And over here we are going to choose Bloodthirsty, become enraged on 4 or 5 gem matches over the Firebringer. Some people like this, but uh, here's the thing. I think that if you are chasing the 20% uh, midstone bonus and roam around the world map, then you are going to encounter impervious troops, uh, fire immune troops, and uh, all sorts of tricky situations when um, the enemy doesn't die straight away from a single skull poke. And if you lose the enrage, you might uh, end up in troubles. So I think this is better cho uh, better pick over this Firebringer in bigger sample sizes, I think. Yeah, and the last uh, trait from the talent tree is deal triple skull damage to burning enemies, aka fireblade. Right. So, 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 the idea is get Marilit going, spam your Zulgot and your weapon up, and then just do massive skull damage. Let's try this in practice. I'm using an Anu medal and two Nisha medals.
cost leprechaun and merlet is up spam merlet there cost zoo to get the fire and the skull box on the table and there just like that let's do another fight I got something more to say so don't go away just yet well this works like wonders now we could take this or we could just cast our weapon and you see what happens it creates skulls and if you miss it also entangles the enemy if you happen to see that there do that now well you saw it it works very well but sometimes I've heard that people really hate when they lose their hero and they have to sweat it out and spam Marilyn and hope that Zul God deals with the enemies left. We have a trick for this. We could do this and switch Marilyn to... Look who's there, your old friend Egg Thief. Why this is good is because uh, she also destroys gems, not that much though. And she also summons a dragon egg. Now if you lose your hero, you can summon a yellow dragon egg and just spam your egg thief and kill enemies with Zul God. And your, your mana generator is always safe because of those egg thief. Uh, uh, dragon eggs, excuse me. And um, well this is pretty nice, but I find this little bit too slow for my taste. Because egg thief doesn't have as much magic right off the bat as Merrily does but she does uh, generate more mana after you gain some gold so let's cast our leprechaun and get some gold we could take those four matches too and now Egdiv is going to destroy 33 gems bam we get some gold and we get uh, actually our troops up so we could just go and cast Zul now Take those skull pokes. Create some skulls. And now as you see, we missed the skulls, but the enemy is entangled because writing stuff. There. This is your option if you hate losing your hero. But sometimes you might notice that you don't generate as much mana as you would like. But of course today this is working like absolutely brilliantly okay there we have two battles left from this run I'm going to show one more team here is kind of a compromise from Merrilith to Active you get the magic amount Merrilith does almost and uh, you have also a summoning ability when you spam angry mob it either summons another angry mob or deals damage and uh, well this is your option if you want speed and safety combined although I gotta say that uh, active build worked pretty well in those earlier battles better than this actually well anyway there and let's go fight the mythic boss cast leprechaun get your mana generator up spam angry mob there kill the mythic cast the weapon and this fight takes 70 seconds you like that baby? Ah. Let's see what we get from the boss chest. Shite. Alright. That's for today. Hope you liked the video. Slap the like. Maybe subscribe. And uh, we will see some other time. Peace.